This will be our final part for the parameters in CDS. In this video, we will learn how to consume the parameters of one CDS from another CDS view. And in the second exercise, we will learn how to consume the CDS with parameters from an ABAP program. So we will create a new CDS and we will try to consume the CDS with parameters which we created in our last exercise. So I already have a CDS created. Now let's see how we can consume it. Once the CDS is created and you have changed the SQL view name, then we have to give the as select from. And in this case, we'll give the CDS name. The CDS name is this one. So we'll give this CDS name over here. And since it has parameters, we know that we need to pass the parameters. If you don't give the parameters and you just say control shift all fills, and if you try to activate it, you will see here multiple markers at this line means entry requires parameter. So if there is a CDS with the parameter and if you don't pass the parameter, you cannot activate your CDS. The another thing to remember is we need to pass the parameters within the brackets. So what are the parameters name? So I'll say just enter controls shift bar. I'll first enter parameter 1 and then uh, I know the parameter 1 is just a text so we can give anything so I'll give my phone number and, and then we need to separate it with the comma then I hit enter okay let me put it down so that it's more readable so I'll give control shift and then the other parameter was parameter 2 and the parameter 2 was like I if you give LH it will give you L Lufthansa otherwise it will give us others so I'll pass LH so this this can be anything and then the third one is the factor okay so factor um, I can pass say 0.05 and then I have run date, run date. So I'll pass today's date 2020 01 23 and then run time. Run by sorry. So I can hard code it or run by I can give it will accept the session and username. So I cannot give the date, you see, you do not have dates in this session. So you only have client, system language and user. So I'll pass the user and okay, this guy is not accepting. So since it is not accepting the lit literals, it is considering as a character. So I'll just give number. Okay, I'll just say two. Okay, and I don't want to show everything. I can pick and choose what I want to show so I'll just remove all these guys okay this is all I want to show and I'll activate it so if I execute it it should show me data based on this input so this is the input which we are passing so let me press F8 so you see here run date and you is this hard-coded one this is coming by from system and then we passed here last two character last two character is rd so it's okay the last character is ar because it's from 10 to 8 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay it was ar okay and then we have this case parameter if it was ls then lufthansa and if anything other than lh it should be others so if i if i change here instead of ls i say aa so this this field should come as others so let's execute it one more time and you go you get others here all right so this is how you consume a cds with parameters from another cds but here if you see here this 
uh, factor we wanted to give a decimal and we were not able to provide it so the other way to handle this is we can have this cds which is consuming this cds also have one parameter so i can say that uh, i can declare a parameter which will be of the same type like the one which we are trying to consume so the other one is of type factor is decimal 3 so we'll put the same type here so that there is no mismatch and then we can pass it from our consuming parameter so now here what you can do so here you have to give you know it parameter and then there is only one parameter m factor so whatever you enter so now if you execute this CDS it will prompt for this parameter to be input so when we input that parameter it will take it over here and then pass it to this CDS and give us this output all right let's check that so you got the parameter I'll say I want 50 percent and then here you go so this is the total price this is the 50 percent of that price and rest all remains the same so I hope you understood how we can consume a CDS with parameters from another CDS. So this is the CDS with parameter and we are consuming from another CDS. As an ABAPer, you would always need to consume the CDS from your ABAP programs. And till now in our video, we have not shown how to do that. It's pretty simple. Treat your CDS entity as any other data dictionary objects which you have been using till date to do the select queries. So nothing changed instead of the table name you will use the cds entity view name you can also use the cds sql view name but we would suggest always use the cds entity view name because when we have authorization checks and other stuffs those are tied only to the cds entity view and not to the cds sql view so to give a demo how to consume a cds so let's say this is the cds view which has so many parameters we want to consume the cds from a ABAP program. Let's check it out. Let us open the same program which I showed a little while earlier where we had this input and output. I'll comment out this code and write our code to consume the CDS with parameters. So I'll just comment this out and now, now I'll write a simple few lines of ABAP program. So I'll say select from I, I need to know the CDS view name. So I know this is the CDS view name. I want to consume this. So select from table this. And then it, since it has parameters. So you will see control and shift or space bar. You, you get everything. So uh, one thing I forgot to tell you that you need not send this in the same sequence in the program but while consuming from the cds view you have to put the parameter in the same sequence so but anyway as a best practice i will pass in the same sequence so in the cds view you used to use colon or uh, and colon means we were using this guy but in program we will be using equal to so let me show you the cds one more time so while we were consuming it, you check here, we have been using colon, that's the SQL syntax. But here you will use equal to, say I'll use the same thing, I'll use 646-SAP-YRD, I'll use the P, I need to give a comma here. So whenever, that is the beauty of S4 HANA or ABAP HANA, you get the error at the time when you are doing it so you don't need to hit check so before that you know if something is red that means you are doing some mistake so i'll give lh i give p factor equals to say 0 0.50 50 percent discount and then here you can pass the system field here so you are in You can pass the side data. So once you are in ABAP, you, you can use all the system fields which you have been using till date in your ABAP career. And run by, you can use 
sa union all right so uh, you need to escape use the escape variable at the rate and say u names so i use say u name and then we need to close the bracket and then we need to give the fields so fields um, i can give star or i can just say control space and then i will use okay i'll use I'll, I'll just type in con id okay i was expecting this you see i'm giving a comma here so previously in above we never give comma so last two caps i know this there's a field there is one called discounted price yeah and then you want to show run by run date okay and then finally i want to show run by run by we need to put it into table this days i with the inline declaration i don't need to define the data type so i'll just directly use and prepare the internal table in line this is going line declaration and then so whenever there is a red you know that something is wrong there so you don't need a space here and then i'll say there is a demo class okay it's better i type demo output there is one demo output My underscore is not working okay this is the one i was looking for demo output i'll say equals to display data and then i need to pass the data so what i want to display so what we did do we pass the parameter values to this table while doing the select and then we're showing asking them to show this fields so let me do a pretty printer let me activate this and let's test it so if i do f8 i get the same output so this was all uh, i wanted to show in parameters in cds so you can uh, explore more but i have given enough for basics which should make you comfortable dealing with parameters in cds i have been speaking really slow knowingly because there would be some folks who might not understand my accents so therefore i'm going slow but if you think that you can understand my accent then i would recommend you watch the videos in fact all the videos at 1.25 speed or at 1.5 in that way, you can cover all the videos faster.